Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Easy Talk Podcast. Easy Talk Podcast. We got David back on another episode. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, I've been working, been working a lot, so I'm, I definitely, whenever I get the opportunity to hop back and like be a co-host, I definitely going to take that opportunity. So hell yeah, I'm super excited. I appreciate it, bro. Hell yeah. I heard we have a sponsor and um, that's super duper dope. Yes, sir. One of many, hopefully one of many that are coming soon. Before we get into the episode, though, let me shout that sponsor out, CNG Customs. If you guys want custom t- keychains, custom cups, and custom t-shirts done, they're the people to hook uh, hook you up with a very low deal. So if you guys are looking to get into any of those or want any of those done for a really good price, go to the description. ID will have something in the description about it, right? We'll have something in there about it, I'm assuming. Yes, sir, we so will. We'll go in the description. We'll, uh, we'll check out the links, and it'll be somewhere in there in the link, so... Yeah, shout out to you guys. Now, before we dive into whatever we're going to talk about yep, and our yep, topics yep. and shit, I just want to check in with you. you oh, know, dope, See how dope. you're feeling. Thank you. Thank where you. you at mentally? How are yeah. you feeling emotionally? Mm. You know, I feel it's good to, you know, check in. and Yeah, check in with the people you love. Check in with, with your homies. Exactly. Check in with your, your family. Exactly. Uh, so the first one you said was, well, emotionally? How or? are you mentally? Where are you at mentally? Mentally, mentally I'm, I'm okay right now. Um, Luckily, I have people that are placed in my life right now that are that are there for a reason, and they uh, they give me a lot of support and a lot of uh, encouragement to continue to do the right thing every day. So uh, mentally, I'm I'm feeling good. Mentally, I'm feeling good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, emotionally, where are you at emotionally? I'm a pretty I'm a honestly, bro. I I can't even see and cap with you. I'm a pretty emotional guy, but I I'm not with the stigma of man can't show emotion. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like that's such a bullshit thing. You know what I mean? Like I feel like yeah. that's such a that's such a so hard hard old way of thinking. Like old school way. Yeah, that yeah. to me that just seems like it's it's no longer the right thing. Rather to be like, yo, as a man, we're not supposed to be emotional. Cause even as kids, right? Like we're taught. Um and I got this from the Brandon Marshall podcast, like this specific answer that I'm gonna give. Mm-hmm. Cause when when the when Brandon Marshall said this, I was like Holy shit. And also, too, it's the month of May, and I'm glad you're asking about this because it's, uh, what is it, health, um, mental health awareness mental month? Mental health awareness It is, so month. shout out to everybody who's going through this. Uh, but yeah, back to what I was saying. The Brandon Marshall podcast, he says, um, when, when you're a young boy, you know, and you can relate to this, Isaac can relate to this, uh, hopefully the young men that are watching this and the men that are watching this can relate to it. You know, we fall or we fall, we're running, we trip, we fall, we're, we're riding a bike, we fall. As men, we're taught, don't cry. Don't cry. You're not allowed to show emotion. Don't cry. You know, and um, I can only speak from my experience. When I was growing up, let's say my sister fell or something like that. It's okay. Come here. Give me a hug. And so I feel like... Uh, shake it off. Yeah, shake it off. Get and, back and, out there. Yeah, so with, with the boys or growing up, you know what I mean? It's sort of like um, you're not allowed to be a very emotional person, but I am. I'm a very emotional person. So I have learned to wear my heart on my sleeve. It sometimes is the death of me, but sometimes... It's why I make the judgments that I do. Right. So, hell yeah. So yeah. Um, emotionally, emotionally, um, I'm always high emotionally. Like, so whether that's good or bad, I'm always a high emotional guy. Okay, so that's okay. kind of always there. Yeah. Now this next part, I mm. think it's healthy. It's a healthy exercise. Uh, I believe you got this from the Brandon Marshall podcast. Yeah, so I just yeah, apply yeah. It to hell you. yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, where are you at? One to ten. Mentally, and where you at one to ten emotionally? So mentally, one to ten, I'd probably say like a seven mentally. Okay, again, that's I, not bad. Yeah, seven. I still got, I still got things I have to do. Still things that do stress me out. Life, you know. So a seven, but um, emotionally, I'm probably at like an eight, eight or nine, and that's sometimes good, sometimes bad. Like I was saying, just because mm. I like to wear my emotion on my sleeve. So both high numbers, both very high numbers that I'm. Okay, okay. Yeah, both very high numbers. I just got to check in, bro, because, no, you know, it's 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 always important. good to check in. That's a lot important. of people don't. Yeah. They just dive into doing how about, shit. How about you? How are you uh, mentally? How are you mentally? Mentally, honestly, this week has been kind of kicking my ass. Uh, yeah. Just because of work. Like, I'm just so fucking tired of work. It's getting to you. It's getting to me, like, yeah. heavy. Like, I feel like the days are going by slower, you know. The hour turns into two hours. The hour, is, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, the time is just moving slow-mo. I'm just feeling drained. And yeah, yeah, I can get like that sometimes. Work can get like that. I would just say, thankfully, it's just work that's making me feel like that. Oh, I, that's good. All the other things, I'm feeling good. How about emotionally? How are you emotionally? Mostly, I'm feeling really good. I've been feeling happy. I'm just looking forward to these next couple weeks. Yeah. You know, looking back, I feel like I've had a successful month. 
Yeah, you know? man. You 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 took this podcast. You and Isaac took this podcast, and um, you guys ran with your ideas. And I was fortunate enough to be a part of it. And we'll get into like why I was sort of out for the last few episodes. Why I'm sort of in and out. But um, yeah, you kind of took this podcast, bro, and just. You know, I think Isaac says it the best, like aim for the star or what is it? Aim for the stars, land on the moon. Mm -hmm. And so I know you've had some really special guests. You had my, you had my, one of my clients, but just not my client, bro. He's actually a really good friend. Like I'm really starting to enjoy his, pre enjoy his presence. Uh, yeah. D9 on here. D9 the ruler. Yeah, yes, sir. I know you made him. I think that night we were having a session. That night we were having a session and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like he, that interview was super duper dope because there's so much, you know, when people... And um, it's a stereotype, right? When people come in here, the chain's on, you know, the grill. There's a there's a stereotype that there's, comes with that. Yeah, like a perspective. Given and he about has them. so much more to, to like, he is so like well-rounded. And even sometimes in his music, like I can hear that, I can hear that he's not just, he's starting to evolve to be like a super dope cat. So yeah, yeah D9 is super duper dope. And then what we did the Gabriel one before that, right? Gabriel one before that, yeah. Yeah, that Gabriel, one, Gabriel. Gabriel that Man, Gabriel's a, a homie. Yeah, Gabriel's a homie. Super duper dope. Shout out to uh just a real quick side story, real quick. Um, it has to do with my Eagles. They picked up somebody from uh from G. And shout out to Nate, Nate Metters. I hit him up on Instagram. I think I hit him up with a message like, hey, um, I seen you play at G with the homie Gabriel. Uh, I'm super glad that you know you're playing for Philadelphia. Fly Eagles fly, like Dino Love or something like that. And yeah. he hit me back. So super duper dope. And I'm hoping maybe we can facilitate a podcast with that. hopefully that would be dope dog that would like, be dope i'm not gonna lie bro i'm a huge eagle fan so to be like yo okay you play for the eagles and you can be on like that would just that would be like super duper dope man yeah it, there's still like a long list of people that i want on the podcast yeah it's, hell yeah there's hell still yeah. a long list hell yeah, i'm planning yeah. on to i have like this whole blueprint set yeah, out ready set, to go you have it set ready to go that's you know good. it's just with the success that's really just been driving me to do better for yeah, the podcast yeah and i know that um i know there's a lot of not too many outlets that are doing what you're doing right now mm -hmm. and i think that's what's driving it right because you give spotlight to underground artists and i know you want to have athletes so athletes yeah hit my man up bro you want to <laughs> you want to talk about the athletic world hit my man up i think i had uh taken here the other day and we were talking about it like mm -hmm. yo like we're looking for athletes whether you're uh nfl collegiate or High school level, like, yo, if you just want to come chill, talk some shit, hit up easy. <laughs> bro, hit up easy fucking Let's have easy a con Eli. controversial debate about some shit. Like, Man, on but, God. But, you know, with with doing stuff like this, I'm pretty sure you experienced it. Yeah. With the love that you get comes with the hate. Yeah, we have we somebody that comments. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know who the fuck Sammy is. What is her name? Sammy. Sammy Casillas. Casillas is her name. Some like that. But you know, one of them. I think, uh, I think, uh, Coach Coach Brown from what's his name puts it together. One of the slap dicks. Oh, yeah. from sla uh, last chance you. Last chance you a fucking slap dick. Um, and honestly, I don't usually say that about people, bro. But this person is consistently commenting some bullshit, and so I'm like. I, I don't want to respond, but then it's in me to be like, yo, like every week, every Sunday, you're taking a little bit of time out of your day to just comment some bullshit. Well, that's kind of why I haven't responded because, you know, like at the same time, they take the time to comment. Super, yeah. Which means that they take the time to view it. So again, I appreciate the view count no, and no, the comment. That's, that's dope as hell. <laughs> but, but again, that's what I, that's why I say I wear my heart on my sleeve. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. So... But mm. I, I don't let it phase me because you yeah, know it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have so much better Somebody, things going she, on for she this. She did view it. She did view it. Yeah, I, yeah. To be honest, I think it's like a, a spam account. Like I don't think it's. Well, if you are a spam account and you're really a guy that's <laughs> pretending to be a girl, can you knock it the fuck off? I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you. Uh, yeah. i um. Or oh, we were in Vegas, and uh, that was super du super duper cool. We had a little Vegas trip. Yeah, we just took a Vegas trip. Took a Vegas last trip. weekend. That was really really nice. But while I was out there in Vegas, um. A particular album dropped that I'm just so fucking fond of. I'm gonna um, get a lot of hate for this, but go ahead, continue going. <laughs> yeah, a particular album dropped, and I really think it's a great album. J. Cole's um, "The Off Season" dropped, and uh, honestly, J. Cole is one of those one of those artists where he's like, I it's like the three headed, four headed dragon. Um, whenever he drops, the world kind of stops. You know what I mean? It, mm -hmm. It's it's just factual. It's based on actual facts, like. 
he has a lot of he has a lot of pool because he's a talent to me. Oh yeah, very talented artist, very like um very versatile. And uh, we're entering his last like two or three albums, from what I understand. Did you listen to the album? Yeah, I listened to about a good amount of the album. A uh, good amount of the whole album. A good amount. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm well, not gonna. A good amount. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and There's say. What, how many tracks are there, Isaac? How many tracks are there on the fall off? Or not the fall off, excuse me, the off season. <laughs> I like believe I said, there's... I listen. I, I'll just pull it up quick, right I'm now. Go, I was about to say, I'm going to go on here real quick just to check out how many tracks are on there. Let's see how many tracks are on there because I listen... 12, 12, 12 tracks. Okay. So I want to say I listen to about half the album. So you listen to six songs. Six songs. Okay. Uh, so you stopped at 100 mile or... Uh, yeah, 100 mil? Yeah. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I don't give a fuck. Uh... The first three songs on that album were mm-hmm. fire. Oh, hell yeah. 95 after, South. Just looking at the track list. After that, it's like, okay, it's starting to get a little chill, mellowed out. Really? I'm not really feeling it. Really? My mind started turning off. Huh. Uh, my attention span for it was just, started going slow. So, but I respect it. Yeah. I, I'm he not. He, I'm, you understand he's talented. Oh, yeah. yeah 100%. Yeah, yeah, okay. that, I'll be stupid it to just say sometimes, not. Sometimes certain music you know? isn't for a particular person. Right. And it might not be for you. I'm not with the group that does. I'm with. So I, I do this like every single day of my life. And so mm-hmm. I sort of understand the craft. It, like, no, I don't understand it to the level where he's at. Definitely. I'm not fucking, you know what I mean? I, um, But I can just tell you right now, he was spitting like. He was oh, saying yeah. some shit. Yeah, he was saying some shit on that album, which if it doesn't relate to you, for sure, for sure. But... I got to ask you because you said you only went through six. You kind of missed the seven, eight, nine combo, which really like is 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 why is what on repeat is what is on repeat for me. So pride is the devil, let go of my hand and the interlude. So you're telling me one, two, three is for sure a banger. One, two, three is for sure a banger. Now, if you're gonna go four or five, slow down for you, for sure. But for me, four, five, six, you can definitely hear the wordplay. Like it's just the wordplay that this guy has is is pretty ridiculous. Oh, but nice. really, why I love the album is because of seven, eight, and nine. Like, like pride is a devil. I See, think you gotta hold on me. That I, shit is hard, bro. I think why I think like I'm not really so and the little hyped baby up verse. Little baby's been killing it, man. I'm he not. Really has. I'm not getting the. 2014 Forest Hill Drives. Type. Okay, but also though, that's a double edged sword. You're never going to. Everybody's gonna want that from an artist. Everybody's gonna want you to recreate the greatest thing you've ever created. Like I've learned that by being a fan of Eminem. Everybody's gonna want Eminem to create the Slim Shady LP. Like there's just no way you can recreate that. But really though, the off season is a very good project. Like. He's spitting on most of it. So that, like I said, that seven, eight, nine combo, bro. Let go of my hand. Like he, he says some shit on there. And then with the features, Boz and uh, and Black, I think, mm-hmm. crazy features. And then um, interlude, bro. Interlude is just like stupid lit. Yeah, stupid lit. So you know what's crazy about this year in music? We might be in an era, a, a year of music where it's gonna be remembered for a very long time, because. There's rumors. Or first of all, Drake should have been dropped. Uh, he was supposed to drop in January. Yeah. Drake should have been dropped, man. And there are rumors coming out that Kendrick is ready to release at the end of the year. And we also still have Travis Scott's uh, Life from, Life from Utopia. 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 I Utopia. Said Utopia getting ready to drop. So we're turning an age of mute or this year turning turning into this year. For J. Cole to be the first, you know, main guy to drop, I'm going to give him the stamp right now. Like that, I mean, obviously we haven't heard Certified Lover Boy. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard the rumored Kendrick Lamar. But I've had heard some like snippets of it and Kendrick's going to go crazy. And Travis Scott, like his fan base has just grown. Who do you think is going to have the more, more, um, turning the corner into the decade? You know, who's going to have the off the bat the most success, right? Who's going to have the most slept on album? And who's kind of going to turning the decade and still have that longevity? Because I think Drake talked about uh, this in his his interview. Okay. Like he respects the other guys, but he's trying to turn the decade into being like the guy. Like so if, undebatable. If I had to say it, uh, I think Drake's going to have the most successful album. Off bat? 
Off bat. It's just, it's Drake. Come on now. This over, guy over don't Kendrick. miss. Over Kendrick. I think Kendrick. Oh! Kendrick's going to be slept on. <laughs> I think Kendrick's going to be slept on. You think Kendrick Lamar's album's going to get slept on? Uh-huh. And what was the third? The I mean, uh, you J. Cole's album dropped, but you only heard six fucking songs. Travis Scott, I mean... Uh, Travis Scott pulls numbers, bro. He pulls numbers. He got them ragers, gonna definitely he got pull... them ragers that fucking rage, bro. But for and sure, they... Drake is going to be on top when they... Like, so you think Drake is list. going to have immediate impact album of the year Come if his on, album dog. drops? Of course. Of course. He's going to have the biggest pool. I'm really like confidently saying that. Drake is going to have the biggest pool. I, I'm going to go ahead and say that. I'm going to go ahead and say. I'm going to say Kendrick Lamar is going to have the best album if he does drop. Kendrick Lamar hasn't dropped in four years. And Damn is such a good album. It is. Yeah, Damn is such a good album. Um, turning the decade, though, for longevity, Drake is for sure going to... Drake is like a chameleon, bro. He adapts to his his surroundings. You know what and I mean? And that's what makes him scary. That's what makes him great. So uh, I think who's going to have the most slept on project is probably going to be J. Cole, bro. Out of, out of the bunch, is probably going to be Cole. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it 100, bro. You only heard six fucking songs, bro. E Eli, trust me, that seven, eight, nine combo. Oh, and then Travis, Live from Utopia. For me, Travis Scott has been like a generational talent. So for it to, I'm really hoping, because I've heard some things that Life from Utopia was bad. Like, it's not a good album. Exactly. I've so heard that's that. Why I put I mean, him at three. God, I mean, Twitter knows everything, right? From these days, Twitter is fucking, Twitter is like, end all, be all. If the world was ending, I'd go to Twitter first. Nah, I, I don't know. I've heard a few things on Twitter that were saying that the album was not that good or that he's just like not finding great inspiration from it, but. Who knows? I'm super excited about it. And yeah, that's pretty much been like the topics of the week. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're wrapping it up now. I just want to make a quick announcement. Uh, Easy Talk Podcast will be posted up every other week. I didn't announce that yet. And I feel like shit for not doing it. Some people, been, some people been hitting me up like, yo, yeah. bro, like, is this a weekly thing? No, it gets posted up every other week. So every two weeks? Every two weeks. Oh, kind of like much. a paycheck, motherfuckers. Y'all got to wait. The same Bi-weekly. Day you, same day you get paid is the same day you get to watch an Easy Talk episode. Trust man. me, we didn't run out of content. We still got a whole bunch. It's just, we're just posting up every other week. Yeah, but you got a lot in store. I, I know it. Thank you for all the love and support. And until next time. Until next time, I hope you guys like my haircut, motherfuckers. <laughs> Cue camera. Cue camera, man. <laughs>